Buddy Healed? Hold on, go back. Buddy Healed? There have been a lot of cards that I have wanted. I really could use that Buddy Healed. He's going to take so long to get, though. There's one player I still have not been able to get. Sean Marion. I, I do want Buddy Healed, but there's one guy in particular who was easier to get that I always wanted. <gasps> there he is. I have all the players I need to get Mike Conley. Why to redeem collection reward? Um, too much reading. Yes, we have Diamond Mike Conley. But how will I know if he's good or not? I guess we could just look at his stats, see how those look. 94 three point, 94 mid range, 94 driving layup, 94 close shot. Those are all really good. 90 free throw. He can't dunk. I don't need you to dunk. 95 ball handle, cold, 97 pass accuracy and a pass IQ. He clamps up on defense, 94 steal, 92 perimeter defense, 97 speed, 98 vertical, okay? 90 hustle, 88 stamina. Those are kind of low, but 95 lateral quickness. To get him a shoot for that, ooh, he's going to be good. Let's see the badges. Six halves, 28 golds, and two silvers. We got Giant Slayer, Agent 3, Limitless Range, Clamp Breaker, Dimer, and Quick First Step. Looks like a good card. But I need to put it to the test. Hmm. I've already completed all the cool challenges. What else could I do? Clutch time. We're going to bring him in here. We're going to see if he can handle it. We're going to put him in here. Put him to the test. I want to keep Drew. We're going to keep Drew in here with him. We want that dangerous defensive duo in the backcourt. Okay, Triple D. We do need one good shot creator here, though, I'm thinking. I think we go Beal. I have Serge Ibaka in here. AKA Serge Iblaka, but I don't I don't think he's gonna help us here. I don't think he's gonna help us. You know what I think we should do? I think we should go super big. We have Roy Hibbert, that's interesting. Let's go Porzingis and let's put Bam at the four. This is serious and I can't lose another game. You guys already saw I had two losses. I have to win this game. KP wins the jump. Let's get it to Mike Conley. All right, let's slow down everybody. Get into my main set. Okay, come here, KP. Okay, bam, you can that works with you too. All the way. And one. Ooh, he almost got an and one on the first play. You guys see how fast he is? That was on me. That was on me. He actually has a good release. Hold on. That's actually a good release. There you go. Green. And he's guarding the one and only Kyrie Irving. That's a great test of his defense. He missed it. Ain't no way. In your dreams. Bam, foul him. Yep, just foul him. That's cool. All right, hopefully he splits them too. Otherwise, I'm going to feel bad. Brick one of them, please. He made that one. Okay. Well, missed the second one. That's fine. He missed it. Still missed the second one. He made them both. Okay. That's okay. Give the ball to Mike Conley. Bring the ball up the floor. We have three guards on the court right now, too. That helps us a lot. Okay, here we go. The, who is, is that Calvin Murphy? That boy is 5'9". Stay with him. He's not hitting that. Good, good team defense. Who fouled him? Bam again. Come on, Bam. Okay, so this is a DeMarcus Cousins free throw contest, apparently. I signed up for the wrong challenge. Thought this was clutch time. That's my fault. Yep, come here. That's green. Look at that playmaking from Mike Conley, a pick and roll maestro. Now you got pick up on defense, Mike. Let's see what you got. Hold on, hold on. Stay with him, Mike. Hold on. Beals on Maxi. That's good. That's good. And we force a miss. Let's go. Good even hit the rim. Bam's on Boogie. No more free throws, though. No more free throws. Bam. Are we? Come on now. Come on. He leaned into me. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, refs. No one came for DeMarcus Cousins free throw contest. Nobody. I promise you nobody did. Okay, yep. Give me Bam. And that's a green three. Look at that playmaking. Ooh, and he got the block. Yeah, come on. Come on, Mike. There we go. Look at that. A little two-man game. Giving it back and forth. Mike Conley got three assists. Let's go. Okay, come here. Come on, KP. Ooh. And I hit it, please. And he hits it, KP. We are running back. Mike Conley has three assists, man. We are just doing everything. He clamps up Kyrie. He gets the steal. He spins. He lays. He gets us the lead. Mike Conley, baby. Yeah, he's everything and some. Come on. 
Clamp up, Mike. Clamp up, Mike. Look at look at the stamina, though. God. Okay. Ooh, that's a foul. Bam is about to foul out. If he could, he would. He's just a playmaking god. Ooh, another steal. Get down there. Okay, okay. He tried. He tried it. He still made it. We are up one with 49.2 seconds remaining. They give the ball to Mike Conley. They're going to try. They're going to give KP a pick and roll. It's a pick and pop. He catches. He shoots it. He gives them the lead. They're up four. He answers right back. Mike Conley with his fifth assist. Porzingis with the rebound. They give them Mike Conley. They foul Mike Conley, baby. It's that padding time. Yes. Yes. Come on. Five and five right here. Five points. Five assists. Mike Conley. He clamped up Kyrie. He created offense for himself. For others. He did everything we need him to do tonight. Even though he has negative stamina at this point. Hold on. That's fine. Call a timeout. Call come out, Kyrie. It don't, it don't matter. It's over. We got Mr. Cleft on our team. Time for more free throws. And he hits the first. Puts the team up five. And he hits, misses the second. They stay only up five. Mike Conley gets it. They're going to foul immediately. 11.1 .1 seconds on the clock. Mike Conley back to the line. He hits the first. Ice in his veins, baby. And he hits the second. He's picking up Kyrie Irving full court. Irving sees the clock. He knows they're in a rush. He passes it to Maxi. He bricks the shot. That is the game here, folks. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, oh, one for four. He did make a shot. I'm not sure what shot that was. But he did make one. But he had six free throws. Eight and five with a steal plus six. He's everything you need him to be. We are spinning the wheel. We still have a chance that Buddy healed. Still have a chance. No, but not, not now. Ooh, no, no. One time might be a fluke, okay? So we need to do this again. We need to make sure Mike Conley is the real deal. We're tipping off game two. The MVP himself, Mike Conley, is going to position himself in the backcourt. Let's get into it. He'll be matched up with somebody. Who is that? Mike Bibby. This is the battle of the mics. Tween, tween. Attack him. Lobs it. And he dunks it. Mike Conley with the perfect pass to poor Zingas. He's picking up Bibby full court. Is it a good idea with his awful stamina? Who knows? Picking and pop with poor Zingas. He's going downhill. Corner. Oh, okay. Now down to Conley. Conley and one on Mike Bibby. And one. He said, I'm the real Mike. And he greens the free throw. He's waiting for Bibby at half court. He picks his pocket. He can't guard you. And he stops. To brick uh, three. Okay. Mike Conley brings the ball down the floor. They are now down by one. Porzingis is ready. Comes set the screen. Will he roll? Will he fade? He fades. He's left open. And he misses. They are now in transition. Mr. Wang is in transition. Beal is the only thing between him and the basket, and he does not force the miss. Mike Conley comes down the court. Looks to his left. Looks to his right. Calls up Porzingis for the fifth ball screen in a row. He attacks the rim, and he gets a layup. Mike Bibby cannot recover. First getting stops. All the way again, Mike Conley. This time, he's just going to the line for two. Can't get the three-point play. He does make the first free throw, however. Can he tie the game up? Yes, he can. Seven points for Mike Conley. Manu's bringing the ball up the floor. He still has Bradley Beal guarding him. Why hasn't the coach put Drew Holiday on him? We're not sure. We're not sure at all, folks. They call Porzingis for the 12th ball screen. No one stops. He stops. He pops it. He makes it. He makes the elbow jumper assist to Mike Conley. It is a tie game again, boys and girls. Ginobili is straight attacking Beal every time down the floor, and he's getting a basket every time. His coach should have definitely pulled Bradley Beal out of the rotation before this. We're not sure what he's thinking. Mike Conley gets the pick and roll. He kicks it to the top. 
Porzingis hits it and gives them the first lead of the night. 17 to 16. Mike Conley has seven points and three assists. All right, now TWP down one. Attacks the pick and roll. They stop. They hit Porzingis on the roll. He dunks the ball. They are back up by one. 47.2 remaining. The Wizards would like to talk about it. He will give it to Mike Bibby, it appears. Mike Bibby attacks Mike Conley, who was blocked by Christoph Porzingis. 10 seconds on the clock, 43.6. Porzingis with a great recovery to help Mike Conley. Bam's roaming. He doesn't know who's going to get the ball. He's there for Wang. Wang still gets it somehow. Magic. He gets it inside. Bam forces a miss. They're in transition. Mike Conley has the ball. He sees Beal, but Beal's not ready. He, he gives it back to Drew Holiday, who runs a pick and roll with Bam. He gives it to the corner to Conley. For the lead, he gives him a four-point lead. He hits the clutch dagger. Mike Conley may have just sealed the game with that shot right there, folks. Four-point lead, 22.7 on the clock. They'll try to get it in fast. They get it to Wang. Wang attacks Porzingis. He attacks Porzingis, and he gets the foul call. He cannot get the shot to go down. And the first one is good. Cut the lead to three. They can make this a two-point game right here, and he does. Two-point game. Looks like they will inbound it to Mike Conley. They elect to foul immediately. Mike Conley has a good history as a free-throw shooter in the clutch. Can he continue? He hits the first. He gets it, and he lines up the second, and he hits that as well. Back to a four-point game. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats. This is going to be the game of the year. Manu comes up the court. Wang takes a ugly contested mid-range. He misses. Magic gets the board. Wang again. Misses again. Drew Holiday this time. Says enough is enough. And he takes it. They foul Holiday. Holiday has never missed a clutch free throw until today. Good thing the game's already out of reach. But he makes the second. That's all that matters. He stays with Magic in full court. He'll put on some slight ball pressure. And... Magic pulls up for four and doesn't even hit the backboard. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy TT, and we are signing off. Mike Conley just cooked him, man. He was in his duffy. He hit the go-ahead three to go put him up four. Pretty much clutched the game. No time on the clock, by the way. He's just that guy. He's just that clutch. Okay, he is that clutch. Time to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. You know what we want. We want one buddy heel, please. One buddy heel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. Wang? I'll take a Wang. No, no Wang. Okay, yep, yeah, no Wang. One token. Okay. Well, I think we've seen that Mike Conley can dominate clutch time. How about something a little bit more personal where he has to take his matchups? Is he a system player or can he win anywhere and everywhere? We're about to see right now. Not only are we going to switch his teammates to Bob Pettit and Glenn Rice, we are going to lock our player. Okay, we're staying on Mike Conley the entire time. We're going to see how good he is or if he, if he was just a system player. Right, we were spamming them picking rolls. He might as be a system merchant. We don't really know. We don't really know. We got to see right here. The game starts. They come on here. They are going to be playing against Gerald Wallace, Draymond Green, and Al Harrington. Mike Conley has a mismatch. How will this affect how he plays defense? We don't know. They get a stop on the first play. Mike Conley, he hits the corner. Glenn Rice rises, and he bricks it. It is okay. Conley doesn't know who to guard. He's just in the middle. Gerald Wallace gets a wide open three. He misses it, though. Glenn Rice swings it back. And Mike Conley hits the first shot of the game. He said, take that for the system merchant takes. He said, I am that guy. He's guarding up Gerald Wallace. Gerald Wallace could easily dunk on Mike Conley if he wanted to. Looks like he might. However, he makes that layup over Mike Conley. Conley gets the inbound. He said, enough is enough. Get out of my way. He said, I want this dance. Mano y mano. He dances. He's tap dancing. He said, you can't guard me. He called him a bum. He said, your mom was ugly. And he makes the layup. Disgusting work here. Mike Conley's coming down the court. He's trying to stay with Wallace. He doesn't know how to defend him, really. So he's just jumping. Wallace just makes the layup over him. Not very difficult. They pick up the ball full court. Conley gets the ball. He snatches. Snatches back. 
He keeps going. He's dancing. He doesn't know where to go. He's stuck. He throws the Glenn Rice, who immediately catches and makes the three-point attempt. Wallace will not take that type of disrespect. He's coming down the court. He wants to dunk on Mike Conley. He shoots again, but he misses this time. Mike Conley down the floor. He calls Rice over for a screen. He takes the screen, kicks it out to Rice, and he makes the three-point attempt. Five points and two assists for Michael Conley. And he picked Gerald Wallace's pocket. However, Wallace recovers the ball. He cannot move. Maybe he could have, and he didn't know the rules. We don't know. What we do know is Gerald Wallace just got a free dunk from Mike Conley gambling. Don't be like Jordan. Bob Pettit with a hard screen. He hits him on a roll, and he gets the finish around the rim. He hits a step back, and he hits the mid-range jumper. He said, I can do it too, Gerald. I can do it too. Gerald Wallace comes down the floor. Pause on that, sir. And he cooks Mike Conley before getting the dunk. And now he has his lockdown take. Mike Conley might have just lost the team the game. We're not very sure yet. Pettit with a screen. He hits him on the roll and he finished over Hal Harrington. Wallace is ready for the ball. He claps for it and demands it. He's ready to go put Mike Conley in the basket. And Conley gets the immaculate steal. He stops. He pops. He does not get the shot to drop. However, he is a brick from outside. Al Harrington is trying to do everything on his own. He thinks that he's Kevin Durant. He's not Kevin Durant. They get a switch on the Draymond. Conley likes it. He doesn't know what to do. He's going to shoot it. He shoots it. He makes it over Draymond Green. He hits the three. 10 points and four assists for Mike Conley Jr. Another steal attempt. He gets it. He stops. He doesn't know where to go. Here's Al Harrington. He says, everyone out my way. I got this one. He's dancing with Al. He doesn't know where to go. He's spamming a whole bunch of moves. He steps back. He bricks the three. Almost got the offensive rebound, but doesn't. Almost doesn't win championships. Gerald Walls with an open three, and he makes it. It is now a five-point game. Mike Conley only needs one last shot to seal the deal. Willie hit it here on Gerald, who has his take. We don't know. He's going to stop. Fade. He hits the layup over Gerald Wallace, and he calls game, baby. This man was cooking. Wrote 12, 4, and 2 steals. Hit two threes. I mean, in his bag. And he's having to guard a 6'7 slasher as a 6'1 point guard. Who set that up? Who, what in the matchmaking system said make him guard a 6'7 wing? Well, he did good, but anyone can dominate next to diamonds. Let's see if he has what it takes. We're locking the player, baby. And we are ready for a tip off here, folks. Mike Conley's on the court with Najee Marshall and Walker Kessler. On the first play, they attack Mike Conley, but he gets the stop and the rebound. Najee will not set a screen, but it's enough room for Mike Conley to get a layup. Two points and a rebound off the rip. Mike Conley says, you will not get the ball, bum. However, he still does get the ball. Mike Conley moves in to pick up in full court. They inbound the ball to Terry Porter. Yes, his name is Terry Porter. He inbounds the ball to Terry Porter. He attacks Conley for the second time in two plays. Different result. Same miss. Three misses in a row. Two rebounds for Mike Conley. Terry Porter is cold. Conley all the way to the rim. Backhand layup. It's too easy. Mike Conley is simply too fast. Terry Porter will try his luck again. He gets a good cross on Conley. He keeps going to the rim. However, he misses again. When will he pass the ball? This man thinks he's Kobe. Mike Conley, on the other hand, hits his third shot. He is cooking Terry Porter right now, and he's clamping them up. He's doing everything he needs. He cuts off the dribble. He picks up Terry Porter at the top of the key. He's watching. Terry Porter goes to the corner for once. He realizes that he's not Kobe. Never mind, he still thinks he's Kobe. He passes the ball to Jordan, swings it. End of the shot clock. He pulls up for Mitty. It's a brick. Another rebound for Mike Conley Jr. 
Cut. Hold on. He's cooking Jordan. He has Jordan on the switch out here. This isn't where he belongs. And he snaps. And he hits the midi. Right over Jordan. He flexes. He's punching the airs. He's fighting ghosts. We don't know. But we don't care. This man is up 8-0 on his own. Porter, on that other hand, scores immediately after Mike Conley punches the air. Conley's cooking. He said, you can't guard me. Snatch it back. He said, you still can't guard me. And he hits the three. He hits the three. Porter, he pulls up for a jumper himself. He hits it. Everyone's just hitting everything right now. Mike Conley's ready. He said, give me the ball and get out of my way. He's not even passing no more. He said, this is my show. Y'all just here. Does another step back. He shoots it again. He hits it again. They cannot stop Mike Conley right now. He steps up. Terry Porter is trying to break him down off the dribble. He's dribbling like it's 2006. He does a spin move. He tries to shoot over Conley, and he hits the floater. Conley immediately says, give me that back. I'm going to score on you. Cook on him. Cook on him. He snatches it. He stops. He pops. He drops the shot. Mike Conley gets yet another stop. He cannot secure the rebound. Porter misses yet again. Yet again. And Mike Conley gets another rebound. He's laughing as he dribbles down the court. He stops. He says, step back. He shoots it again. He misses that time. You can't make them all, Michael. Mike Conley takes that personally. He's attacking. Snatches. Porter isn't biting anymore. He goes into the paint. He gets the layup over Porter. He says he's too little. He says you can't guard me. He says eat some vegetables and maybe you'll be as strong as me one day. Porter immediately makes the layup in return. The next shot will be for the game. Conley has all 19 of the team's points. Will he pass? No, we both know he won't. He stops. He shoots it, and he calls game, baby. Walker Kessler's tying the shoe because he didn't do anything this whole game. Mike Conley points and laughs at Terry Porter. Y'all, 22 and 4 rebounds, 9 for 10 and 4 for 4 from 3. I mean, he couldn't do anything wrong. When you put him against another point guard, this boy is a god. Well, everyone, we learned something valuable today. Mike Conley is the best budget point guard in the game. He's, he might be the best point guard in the game. No, he's not. But he's the best point guard I have. And that's why we hold him near and dear to my heart. Because I consider Drew Holiday a shooting guard. Okay. We're not we're not going to put them against each other. I love them both. Okay. There's no reason you should not get this card. It was 100% worth it. I wanted this card for a reason. And I got it. Thank you for tuning in. If you got any other videos, suggestions, or video ideas, you'll put them things down below. It's your boy TT. And I'm out of here. Peace out, y'all.